Today, we've got something exciting to talk about. Samsung has just released a fresh update for its Home UP app, bringing it to version 16.0, and it's now compatible with One UI 7. This update is packed with features that will significantly enhance the user experience on Galaxy devices. Tipster Vince Lawrence has given us an early look at what's new, and it's definitely something worth checking out. So let's dive right into the stand-up features of the Samsung One UI 7 Home UP update. First up, let's talk about one of the most exciting features, Home Chester's animation tuning. Samsung has really stepped up the game here. Now, users can choose from three different animation styles, pixel by pixel. You can experience animations that are smoother, faster, or even more emotional, as Samsung likes to describe it. But that's not all. You also get access to advanced tuning options where you can tweak things even further. You can control details like damping, stiffness, and friction, which affect how icons move and resize on your home screen. It's like having a personalized control panel for your animations, giving you a truly custom feel when navigating your phone. This level of fine tuning adds a whole new layer of personalization, allowing users to match their phone's behavior with their own preferences. You'll also be able to play around with icon tracking and refine how icon scaling behaves with the interpolator option. And if you're into the little details, you can even adjust the scaling animation duration and add blur effects on the home screen and wallpaper. So if you're someone who loves to personalize every aspect of your phone, this is going to be a game changer. Now let's move on to the new folder options, something that Galaxy users have been eagerly waiting for. With the new update, you can create larger app folders. That's right, you now have the choice between medium and large folder sizes, and Samsung is keeping the original large folder option intact as well. This means better organization for your apps and a more customized home screen layout. And it doesn't stop there. You can also tweak the folder grid and adjust the icon sizes within these folders. If you're someone who's into a clean, organized home screen with everything neatly in place, this feature is perfect for you. It gives you even more control over the appearance and functionality of your home screen, which is always a plus. Next up, let's talk about improvements to the pop-up folder feature. Samsung has made this feature a lot more flexible in terms of customization. You can now adjust the size of pop-up folders, choosing between small, medium, or large. This makes it easier to access your favorite apps with just a tap. Not only can you change the folder size, but you can also fix the folder's position, hide the edit bar, and even remove blur effects for a cleaner look. All these customization options help ensure that your interface looks organized and functions smoothly. Whether you like a minimal look or want more functionality in one place, the improved pop-up folder feature adds more versatility to your home screen. One UI 7 Home Loop update. Are you excited to try them out on your Galaxy device? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below. As always, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you're new here, consider subscribing for more updates on the latest tech news and tips. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world, Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big foam of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter, but a bit wider at 162.3mm x 79mm. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now, onto the display. Both phones deliver top-tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9-inch OLED display with a buttery smooth 120 hertz refresh rate. As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just one hertz when the phone is idle. 
Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch AMOLED display that also supports 120Hz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45-watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20-watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.